the more people are together, the dumber collectively that they are. So like, you know, one person is, is kind of stupid. Five people is more dumb, 10 people is dumb. When you got, you know, 500 to 1,000, that's like a mob. They call them a mob. You know, mobs are inherently stupid. You know, the whole Frankenstein thing. They were dumb. If it was just one of them, they were like, you know what, maybe we shouldn't go after this monster with the torch. Maybe we're gonna get our asses kicked. But when you have all these villagers, they're like, wow, we can all take them together. And they're like, yeah, because they forget. They make a megazord of idiocy and they forget how stupid they are. So that's why I like to spend as much time alone as possible to avoid collective crowd dumbness, societal dumbness. That's what I'm fighting against. And that's why collectivism is a mistake and the biggest, most important minority of them all is the individual. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukanowski of WeAreChange.org. That clip, by the way, is from uh, RJ City. He's a wrestler. I just randomly saw this clip, thought it was important, so I shared it. Check him out if you want, but there's a lot to get into today, especially regarding very important news surrounding Donald Trump's tax returns and what looks like ballot harvesting and potential voter fraud in Minnesota. Just like anything political, one side says it's absolutely the truth while the other side says it's a complete lie and we'll uncover a lot of it in these videos. As you know, lots of disinformation and just outright propaganda along with fear-mongering with the mainstream media, highlighted by this uh, conholio sickness update. And as trash like that is promoted, we are downranked, demonetized, and shadow banned for our content. So we have to work with good companies that I personally like, that I personally trust, and one of them is VPN City. So if you're looking for a safer, more privacy-focused online experience, check out VPN City. It uses military-grade encryption. You could change your location to almost everywhere in the world, which not only unlocks content that you can't get in some places, but most importantly, lets you see what some governments restrict in some countries. The plans are really affordable. There's a 30 day money back guarantee and I like them, I use them, I think you will too. Check out the link down below and check out VPN City. Now obviously one of the biggest stories broke just a few hours ago, Sunday night, with the announcement that the New York Times has leaked allegedly Donald Trump's federal income taxes. And of course this is front page news everywhere filled with propaganda pushing a certain narrative while ignoring many key implications surrounding what's actually going on here. Most interestingly, the US President Donald Trump corroborated some of this information by recently tweeting, quote, the fake news media, just like the election in 2016, is bringing up my taxes and all sorts of other nonsense with illegally obtained information. Now we're gonna get to Donald Trump's full statement in just a little bit, but this is important since of course many Donald Trump loyalists were originally saying that this leak by the New York Times was quote, fake news. But the information coming from this leak according to the New York Times is that the US President Donald Trump paid $750 in federal income taxes in 2016, the year he won the US presidency and another 750 during his first year in office. The report also states that he had paid no income taxes at all in 10 of his previous 15 years. And the majority of people responded with, eh? Since it's very common for very rich people to do tax avoidance. Also, it's important to note that in 2016, the New York Times released a very similar report where they acknowledged that Donald Trump wasn't paying any kind of federal income taxes. Now, Donald Trump was trying to keep his tax records secret, but with the revelation of this news, people were saying, good for him. Since obviously no one is a fan of taxes. No one likes taxes. And a lot of people are saying he should pay his quote fair share. Meanwhile, I'm saying maybe you should use his accountant. Maybe you should start your own business. Maybe you should have a list of expenses. Now, another important thing to acknowledge here is that 
Donald Trump did in fact pay millions of dollars in taxes. Sometimes he even overpaid in taxes. And in the years of his presidency, he has been filing tax extensions. And he's been using the system for massive tax write-offs and other business expenses like fuel for his private jet. Hired a lot of his family members as contractors. There was also a lot of debt revealed in his returns. This is also another scheme a lot of accountants use to do legal tax avoidance, which of course is a lot different than tax evasion. There's a big difference between the two and the difference matters. Now, some people are making an argument that being in debt to corporations and foreign entities might actually impact your presidency, which who knows, it, it might. We still need more information surrounding that. But when it comes to a lot of these allegations, Donald Trump's official response to all of this was that the fake news media is acting on bad intent and that, quote, I paid many millions of dollars in taxes, but was entitled, like everyone else, to deprecation and tax credits. Quote, also, if you look at the extraordinary assets owned by me, which the fake news hasn't, I am extremely under leveraged. I have very little debt compared to the value of assets. Much of this information is already on file, but I have long said that I may release financial statements from the time I announced I was going to run for president, showing all properties, assets, and debts. It is a very impressive statement and also shows that I am the only president on record to give up my yearly $400,000 plus president's salary and end quote now other people like michael cohen are coming out and saying that donald trump's going to have problems with the irs and um he, he most likely won't since uh, of course he's following procedures protocols outlined in the tax code and if the argument is that donald trump did something like tax avoidance that's something that a lot of people in this modern day and age will applaud rather than be angry about. Now, another thing to really consider here is the release of this report right before the first major presidential debate this political season. Another implication to really consider here is that effectively, the New York Times acted like WikiLeaks. They obtained insider government information that they were not supposed to have and then they published it. This is significant because Julian Assange, a foreign citizen of Australia, not a U.S. citizen, was essentially tortured and right now is facing an extradition battle to the United States for the same act. The act of journalism that's okay when the New York Times does it and the mainstream media, of course, protects it, but they obviously obfuscate and mainly ignore it when Julian Assange does it with WikiLeaks, who's now facing the most dire consequences for a very similar act. The hypocrisy is very rich here, and it needs to be understood since, of course, the case of Julian Assange is a very important case for press freedom that needs to be fought for because if Julian Assange loses, the essential existence of the free press loses as well. Now, another thing to really consider here is that Donald Trump obviously didn't release his tax returns. He didn't want them to be public. CNN and other garbage-filled mouthpieces for the establishment were using this as a, quote, example of allegedly Donald Trump hiding this so he wouldn't reveal how he was connected to Russia. And even according to the New York Times, there's none of this anywhere, which shows you they're droning on their conspiracies, their nonsense, their delusions, their fake news is tolerated and promoted by YouTube, Google and Alphabet. Meanwhile, you call it out you get punished. Now you compare that to Hunter Biden and, and his connections with uh, the Russians. There's really something to really consider here, especially when we are seeing Donald Trump's returns on the front page. Meanwhile, a bombshell story like this almost being completely obfuscated. Now again, if there's some boot-licking, butt-hurt establishment ninnies out there who get mad about legal tax avoidance, definitely send them this video. We are seeing Looney Tune individuals using this information as a way to push their kind of narrative. But to those ninnies, if they're watching this right now, wait until you find out about Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Bill Gates, and of course, the U.S. Federal Reserve. And then you should be really angry by fully understanding how this system 
actually works. There's a reason people like Henry Ford said, quote, it is well enough that people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system, for if they did, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. So yeah, definitely something to uh, really think about and consider. And, and again, there's a lot of fraud going on. There's no denying it. There's a lot of $250 haircuts or $70,000 of hairstyling going around, mainly because of collectivism, which of course is why we started the video out like we did. The greatest form of representative collectivism is of course selection season, sorry, election season, which is proving out to be more contentious and troublesome, especially with the latest project Veritas video that alleges massive voter harvesting and fraud going on in Minnesota. Now, there definitely is a lot of questionable videos and evidence pre presented here. You should definitely watch the video report of Project Veritas by yourself and make your own conclusion. But with this latest video by Project Veritas, we have attorney Jeff Wokonowski of Hennepin County coming out and saying that the ballot harvesting described in this video appears to be illegal and of course will be investigated. And as that happens, we of course will be keeping a very close eye on it as of course the disinformation and propaganda is definitely ramped up during this election. And if the 2020 Iowa caucus says anything, if there is a similar event, oh boy, you could definitely expect some massive fireworks to go off. So yeah, I mean, at least it's um, interesting of a, of a show. I like fireworks. Do have a lot more ramifications though. But anyway, that's my report for today. If you thought I was wrong on anything, please let me know why in the comment section below. I usually respond within the first hour or you can message me on Twitter and I usually see a lot of people's responses on there. Again, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Share this video with a friend or family member or any boot licking government loving ninny that you know out there there since of course it's very important to get the word out in this day and age where information is suppressed the only thing stopping that is you yourself acting as an individual trust me it's it's more important than ever the algorithm is definitely punishing us more than ever and and your participation is critical and if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be here and this is why love you guys stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org